Hey guys, I'm in San Diego, outside the book tree, Adams Avenue. You guys know I traveled thousands of miles to get here. Didn't really know which, way, which direction I was going, I just caught the highway. I've been everywhere. This is the place. I want to introduce you guys to probably tens of thousands of titles. This is just the entry and there's really nothing in here. This is all relatively new. This library of Paul of the book tree contains many, many very old titles like we're about to see. This is just the foyer. This is just what you see when you come in. The beauty of these old bookstores is you don't really know what's here. And you're able to explore for yourself. Let's go in here and check this out. The first thing you're going to notice, if you're anything like me, is it smells like books that have been here for a very long time. The inventory is not commercialized. What you're looking at is a scattering of books from all different authors, all genres, all time periods. You're gonna find what you're looking for here. You're gonna find a lot of treasures. Like I said, this is Book Tree of San Diego. Took me a long time to get here because I've been wanting to come here since about 2000, 2001. We've got some cards here, some books sitting on the floor. Listen, guys, <clears throat> if you're looking for treasures, you don't go to the chains. You come to little bookstores like this where a lot of attention to detail, trying to organize books. It's just, it gets almost impossible. There's really no way to organize this amount of material. Believe me, I know. I try to organize prison libraries, and it just it becomes impossible. And that's where a lot of old books are. Because prisoners do take care of books. I will be going through some of this inventory and taking some of these old books so you guys can see them on YouTube. But this is just a very small portion of this, this bookstore. I'm about to take you deeper into it. Paul has a passion for books. He has a history with some very intriguing individuals. I have told you guys about Jack Berenger and Neil Freer. I've told you extensively about <clears throat> Jordan Maxwell, which is a personal friend of Paul's. I will be releasing videos, look at this collection here, I will be releasing videos on YouTube of Jordan Maxwell and Neil Freer for you guys so you can understand the depth of research that's been done to show you that the Archaic's data does not stand alone and that there were people deriving these conclusions long before I came around. All I did was put context to them. Let's see, look at all these, look at this. I'm going to go through this for you guys today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick out some really interesting books so we can do some videos out of. But this is amazing. You guys know I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to make several trips out here to San Diego. This can't be done in one day. This is just too much. Look at that. I have been shown some treasures that were brought here for me to see. Some very old books. Look at this. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. <clears throat> it's got a real it's got a real nice feel to it in here. If you're in the Southern California area, Escondido, San Diego area, you need to stop in. We'll get to this shelf here in a minute. This is, this is a really intriguing shelf. It's Sunday, people are trying to get in. I think word, word got out that I was here. Amazing titles, guys. You're not, just, you're not gonna believe some of, the, some of these books. I'm about to show you an entire shelf by which I derive my education. Every book I've, almost every book I've read, Paul put it together. Look at this. Now, I was published in, I was published in Paranoia Magazine. He's got some really unique magazines here too. Uh, Paranoia Magazine, like right here, I was published in Paranoia Magazine because the, the editor was really intrigued with the Phoenix phenomenon. Let's see, we're still going through the bookstore. We're not even halfway through this bookstore. This is a, uh, even Paul told me, he says, look, man, there's just really no way to determine. You're just going to have to go, oh, 1876. That's beautiful. 
you're just going to have to go through the, the shelves because the classification system doesn't exist. It's just, he, try, he tried and tried and tried, but it's just, it's a plethora of material. Here's some, here's some antique books all behind a glass, glass. I'll be going through that today. A lot of, uh, Paul has a lot of VHS tapes from people he has, he has personally produced. He was a video, he was a personal videographer and traveled the world with Zechariah Sitchin before he opened his bookstore. He even has some writings in here that were public, that are uh, by Zechariah Sitchin that were not found anywhere else, but in books released by Paul. It's amazing, amazing sets of books. You guys know I'm home. You guys know I found my second home. I got out of prison in, in, in the very last couple of days of 2016. So I was in prison all of 2016. <clears throat> Every single month for about 16 years, Paul sent me a package of books from this very bookstore. This education that I have amassed my perspectives on history and science, anthropology, on prophecy, eschatology. They were derived from the forging of materials that were, that were basically, I came in contact from this library, from this amazing, this amazing collection of books that I had data mined. And I know I have some critics out there who don't believe, you know, they've, they've, made, they've made comments and I don't care, I normally ignore them. But here's your proof. Book bookstores like this are almost non-existent in America. They have shut down. Only the large commercial chains exist. What we have right here in the book tree in San Diego is now becoming an a fast fast becoming an anomaly. And this this comes from a it, it comes from a love of of literature and a love of knowledge, a love of accurate information. So, there is no one listening to my voice who could ever read every book that's in here. Remember, guys, it took me 26 years just to amass a standing bibliography of 1,300 texts, 1,300 nonfiction works. Now, don't get me wrong. I've read a couple thousand fiction books, but those are easy reads. You're not data mining those. That's just relaxation. So what we have here is far more than anybody could, could read. So you would come in here and you would find what you need that would provide you years of reading material in one trip. Yeah, guys, this is it. This is like one of the last, last bastions of knowledge. And as I, as I told you guys, I'm collecting all these old books, especially from the 1800s, pre-World pre War I, because my team and I are rendering all these into PDFs, because we know what's coming. We know no one's producing these old, old books like this anymore. It, which leads me to this other shelf because Book Tree of San Diego is doing just that. Now I'm going to show you the shelf. Look at this beautiful from northern Israel. I'm going to come around so you guys can see it better. All these books here, these are free. These are free, free to uh, purchase as well. Like I said, it's not really organized. Have amassed this massive collection of books but haven't gotten around to there's no shelf space for them that's how many that's how, how many books are here paul <coughs> y'all excuse me paul acquired this in northern israel from from a culture of people called the drew they had like blue or green eyes it was very small small culture of people in northern israel and they produced that right there i know a lot of you like zodiacs a lot of you listening to my channel are in astrology. I just wanted to show this. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 get a good picture of this before I leave so I can post it because I know some of you guys are going to want it rendered in a PDF so you can study it more closely. But yeah, I'll be here for a little while, guys, selecting some of these books. But this is, this is by far not my only trip. I'll be coming to San Diego multiple times. This is amazing. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm impressed. There are back rooms. They got all kinds of uh, books in stock and all that and, and some private stuff, collections. But this is what I, I really came to show you right here. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> this shelf. Book Tree of San Diego is not only a collector of, of scientific anthropological, historical mysticism, ancient comparative religions, 
but he's also a publisher. And what you're looking at is every single book that's been published by Booktree minus 16 titles that they don't have in stock right now. But they will. If you order them, they'll get them in stock. But this is a massive collection. It's, all, it's well over 300 books. And you're looking at the very books that I ordered from Paul when I was in prison. These are the books. I'm going to select some titles for Jason's shelf. If you come to this bookstore, or if you call 1-800-700-TREE, and you ask the book tree, George or Paul, hey, what are the titles on Jason's shelf? They're going to they're gonna have a whole shelf here with a sticker that says Jason's Shelf. We're going to design it today. And it, out of these 300 books, I'm going to pick 50 by which I derived most of my education, my chronological histories, my perspectives on the oversoul, on basically everything that you come in contact with on my channel in Archaics. These are all book tree titles. What makes them valuable is most of these titles are from the 1700s and 1800s. These are reprint titles. These are, maybe 50% of them are, are new books. But these are old books. Very old books. I'll put that back in a little while. And they're amazing books. I mean, so, there's so many different. You, you can't judge a book by its cover, guys. They just threw on some covers. You open up this book, Gog and Magog, The Giants of Guildhall. Anybody in the UK, you need to read your histories. Here it is right here. 1859, right here. This is just one example. And the beauty of it is when Paul Tice reprints a book, he keeps to the original, the original uh, material. Look at this. It's citing books from 1633, 1652, 1635, right here. This is the original book copied. It's not a... It's not a reprint uh, that's been redacted. You guys know Archaics is all about exposing the, exposing the Vatican and exposing the government for redacting all these old books. You won't get that here at Book Tree. When I pull these book these old books off the shelf, what you see is the original book. Here's another one. Oh, this is by H. G. Wells. That's why this is published. This is this is a hundred years old, but and that's the original. That's the original book right there. This is not something that's been edited. And uh, anything's been changed. Look at this. The Arco. I told you guys about this book. The Arco volume. The guy snuck into the Vatican. And he found some records that the uh, Vatican was pissed off about. This is interesting. This is the original book from the 1800s. Here it is. I'm flipping through it right now. This is not redacted. It has not been retyped. Edited. So there's no risk of material being changed or, or, or done. This is, this is how I got my education. Reading books that are virtual copies of their originals. They're all here. And there's even some, here's Aryan Sun Myths. Look at this one. I read this book too. Ancient Egyptian Masonry and the Building Craft. Look at this book. It's thick too. It's a thick book. Look at that. I'm going to open up this book for you guys to see. In every instance that I open up these books, you're going to see the original book in the inside. A perfect copy of it. Book Tree does not re- they, do, they don't edit. They don't, they don't revamp the deals. They leave everything as is. Here it is right here. 1883. It's beautiful. This is it. All the original pictures, illustrations, everything's in here. Ancient Egyptian building craft. It's awesome. These are just some examples. I'm not going through all, the, all these books, guys. You can get a catalog from the book tree. You can see it online. You can download it as a PDF. We're going to have Jason Shelf here today but you're looking at this is largely 50 this is largely 50 percent of my entire education in a 16 17 year period came from this one collection of books here and they're original they're they are original reprints not redacted versions this is what i tell you all the time guys you've got to be careful about anybody who reprints books i have already shown you examples on my channel the reprinted versions, if, if, if they have been edited and reformatted, I promise you they've been redacted. And they're in your missing material. Charles Fort, Book of the Damned. Every single one of you should read this book. Every single one of you should read it. I told you all about Charles Fort. You guys know. He's the one that wrote 1902 was the other dark age. Remember, he, he amassed all that data on 1902. Let's see. Here's another book I've told you guys a lot about. 
the book of the sacred magic of a Bremlin the mage. It's another book. And here, I'm just going to show you guys. Every time, I'm going to open up a book, and you're going to see the original. Here it is from the 1800s. This is the original pages. Yeah, all, they, all Book Tree does is copy them. No editing. No redactions. You guys want your original source materials. You need to come to Book Tree. You need, you need to get an education the way I did. You need to try to avoid, avoid a lot of these modern publishers who are trying to use as, as a marketing gimmick the fact that they have edited old mistakes and they have reformatted to compress to save space. Listen, in almost every incidence, we know that core material has been changed, and that's not good. So let me inter introduce you to Paul. Here's the man right here. Here's the legend. Used, used to travel the world with Zechariah Sitchin. He's a personal friend of mine, and I do credit him. He's the reason I'm here. What you doing, Paul? Good. It's finally great to meet you after 22 years or or however long it's been. Yeah. To finally have you come here in person, it's a it's a special day today. Yeah, it's uh we close we close the uh let me put it we close the bookstore down guys today just so we could get this done because if we if we wouldn't have done that we we would I would have never been able to walk around and videotape well, anything. When, when it's closed, they're, yeah, they're trying to walk in now. This place is getting more and more popular as the word is spreading. Book like book, bookstores like this just don't exist anymore. They're so rare, and this is where it's at. <coughs> so, some of the some of the big names that I've told you guys in our in archaics, Paul's Paul has been, befriended these people. He has known them for years. He's known Jack Berenger. He's known Neil Freer. He knows Hugh Montgomery. He knows Tracy Twyman. He knows. Jordan Maxwell personally really well and and Zechariah Sitchin. Is there anybody on that list that, that did you oh, work with in the past? There's tons of them. There's, there's just a lot of them. But the, the, the thing is, they're not here anymore. Most yeah. of them is, have passed on. Right. So it's up to people uh, like you and me to continue to carry the light. The, the most important thing that all these people were about, which drew me to them and wanted me, and that made me want to work with them, is they were after the truth. Doesn't matter if it's going to offend anybody, you know. Um, you know, and for instance, Jordan Maxwell, he says, you know, it doesn't, it, he says, I don't mind offending everybody or offending nobody as long as I get the truth out there. And yeah. that's all, that's all we really have always tried to do. Hey, listen, it's a, <coughs> it is very evident in what you're seeing here. I haven't been through the whole bookstore, guys. I just can't. There's a lot, there's a lot in the back as well, but I'm about to select a whole bunch of books. I'm going to put on this table. And we're going to do Jason's shelf so anybody can call 1-800-700-TREE. And when you call, you just ask, hey, I want, I want to know what books are on Jason's shelf. And we're going to have that shelf. It's, going to, it's not going to be touched. Books won't be removed from it. Everybody will always know these are the books that, are, that stay on Jason's shelf. And you'll, you'll get to know basically the primary 50 to 60 books that, that uh, I attribute my education to. You guys need to know that. I know there's a lot of you. Many of you have ordered every single book that I have ever mentioned on my channel. And that's impressive. I'm very impressed that you that you have that tenacity and that will to chase the source materials and find out this information for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Because remember, I'm always telling you guys, I don't want to tell you anything. I want to show you. That, that's, a, that, that's a hallmark of my channel. So <coughs> that's what we're going to do today. Paul and I are going to spend about an hour right now going through these books. Two stacks. One of them is Jason's shelf, so be sure to ask for it. The other stack are treasures that Paul has amassed that I'm going to walk out of here with. And it might cost me a little money. So get your PayPals ready. Thank you, guys. I will talk to you guys later. So the last thing I did before leaving the store with Paul today was isolate the books that I thought that had the most valuable value to me in my education and the presentation of basically the archaics paradigm. All the material that I've put together by which I have basically translated raw knowledge into personal experience, the world that I believe in. These are designed for you to screenshot. Each image here will, is, on, is on the video for 12 seconds. This should give you plenty of time to take your screenshots and you can blow these up. These screenshots that I'm providing right here are for you to contact Paul, 1-800-700-TREE, and you can just tell him, hey, these are the books I'm interested in, Jason's Shelf. These are the screenshots for Jason's Shelf. These are all the books. The origin of the Old Testament, you want to know the things, all these things I've been telling you guys, here's the source materials. Things I'm telling you about the New Testament, 
oh, where are the New Testament records come, how they invented Christianity? Here's the text you need to read. Uh, guys, I tell you all the time, please do not take my word for it. I do not want to tell you the truth. I'm going to spend the rest of my life showing it to you. It does not escape me that while I was at Paul Tice's book tree, where I've been wanting to go for over 20 years, it does not escape me that while I was there with Paul, I hit 100,000 subs on YouTube. Little sinks like that just make my day. I also got a whole bunch of old books from Paul, and while he gave me some killer deals, I still couldn't, I still can't, I still, I still went overboard a little bit. So any of you feel convicted about that and you want to PayPal a little spending money, I'm cool with that too because uh, I, I, I did not hold back. I got everything I needed and you will see these books on YouTube. You guys have a great time. time. I'm enjoying myself in San Diego and uh, I'll be heading back by unexpected ways.